Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Micah and this channel is dedicated to learning, teaching, and discussing everything about cybersecurity. So today we're going to be going over the CYSA Plus, which is the Cybersecurity Analyst Plus certification by CompTIA. I'm going to give you an overview of how I prepare for the test, the resources that I used, and then I'm going to give you some tips and tricks that will help you pass the exam on the first time like I did. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So what is the CYSA Plus and why is it relevant? Well, the CYSA Plus is a blue team or defensive security certification offered by CompTIA, and it covers five domains, threat and vulnerability management, software and system security, security operations and monitoring, incident response, as well as compliance and assessment. It meets the ISO 17024 standard and is approved by the DOD to fulfill Directive 8570.01-M requirements. So if you're looking for a Department of Defense job, it's an awesome thing to have. I will say um, there are requirements or prerequisites before taking this exam. You wanna have the Security Plus and Network Plus and at least four plus years of information security um, experience. And this is what well, this is recommended by CompTIA to have. And it's not necessary, you can totally do it without it if you have the passion and the drive and the want, the will to pass this exam and study for it. But I will say you wanna have at least that network plus and security plus baseline level of knowledge because the CYSA plus will build on top of a lot of the concepts and information uh, and knowledge that was introduced inside of the security plus and the network plus. So that's just something to consider before taking the exam. So the first resource that I used was a course by Jason Dion on Udemy. And I've used him now for the Security Plus, the Network Plus, and of course the CYSA Plus. He makes fantastic content, very affordable. I believe I purchased that course for maybe 10 to 12 bucks. It was on sale, but you can usually find sales all the time on Udemy. So it's not that hard to get a good price. And so I started going through the course, made it through the course, which is over 30 hours. and Something I used to supplement just watching videos was note taking. And he includes a study guide, which is awesome. You don't have to write everything down. I just took screen grabs of everything, threw it into one note. And then once I got done with the entire course, um, I went over my notes and then I made flashcards on the terminology and the acronyms that I really didn't understand or weren't, wasn't familiar with. So Jason Dion, great course. And actually you can purchase exam vouchers through his website for a discount. I believe I saved about 40 bucks on the exam voucher. So Jason Dion, awesome resource to have. So the second resource that I used was the CompTIA CYSA Plus Practice Test Book by Cybex. And that's written by Mike Chappell and David Seidel. The book contains a thousand questions that covers all five domains that I mentioned earlier. Since the questions are separated by domain, what I did was over the course of a few weeks, I would do 50 practice test questions a day, Monday through Friday. So on Monday, domain one, 50 questions, Tuesday, domain two, 50 questions, so on and so forth. And doing this gave me the ability to track my progress and determine exactly how well I was performing in each domain. Breaking up the questions in this manner helped to reduce the monotony of going through a thousand questions and made studying a bit more interesting. After I went through all of the practice test questions for each domain, I went back over the questions that I got wrong and made sure that I understood the material and understood why I got those questions wrong. Another method of study that I highly recommend is reading articles and documentation pertaining to the concepts introduced in your study material. For example, I kept getting bad scores in the IR portion, so I decided to do a bit of research and actually ended up reading the entirety of the NIST Special Publication 800-61 article on incident response. Also, try to get some hands-on practice. The Cyber Defense Room on Try Hack Me is an excellent resource for this. Three of the five domains are actually covered in this room. During the studying process, don't get too hung up on trying to pass the exam. Rather, focus on understanding the material and focus on trying to gain skills that can be transferred to the workplace. That's a lot more valuable than the certification. So you've done all the studying, you've watched over 30 hours of Jason Dion videos, you've done a thousand practice test questions, you've written hundreds of flashcards, it's time to schedule the exam. So what I recommend is to schedule the exam two weeks out and schedule it as early as possible. I found that my brain is more alert in the morning, even though I'm a night owl. 
And scheduling it early will definitely help you when you're awake, when you're alert. It will give you that edge that will help you to pass the exam. Also, I recommend during that downtime that you review all of your flashcards. There are two practice exams at the end of the Cybex book. I recommend that you do those as well. And brush up on any of the weak areas that you found while you was doing your practice questions and ensure that you turn that weakness into a strength. Some final words of wisdom. The day before the test, don't try to study anymore. Don't look at any more flashcards. You've done your due diligence. You're prepared, you're ready, and you're going to pass the exam. So just relax, take a load off, watch a movie, read a book, whatever you do to relax, do that. The day of the exam, make sure you wake up early, get your coffee, your brain food. Um, pro tip, peppermint gum helps you to concentrate, so definitely get some sticks of those to shove in your pockets and get to the exam site early. Don't do like I did, have to throw on clothes and have to drive down the road in a cold car because you didn't wake up early enough. Get up early and get to the site early. It will help you out in the long run, I promise. And save your PBQs, your performance-based questions until the end. You'll get two or three, just flag them, move on to the multiple choice, and then do your PBQs at the end. It will help you out tremendously, I promise. If you found this video informative or helpful in any way, please like and subscribe. And if you have any additional resources, tips, or tricks that you would like to share with the community, please put it in the comment down below. And that's all I have for this video, so stay safe and I'll see you next time.